It's great to know that my virtual divers are still hanging around. I'm sure you realized on our field trip that the reefs in the Bahamas are teeming with all kinds of fish. Some of them you probably recognize right away, especially the ones that are part of your diet. But I think now is a great time to get ourselves better acquainted with even more fish living on the reef. You'll be a first-rate fish identifier when we're done. Not that that's our goal or anything. The operative word here is still fun. If you're wondering how scientists identify fish, they use ID clues and adaptations such as body shape, color, mouth shape, and size. These are just a few of the fish that live on the reef. Let's see how you'll do. This is a queen angel fish. You can think of the spot on her head as a crown. Angel fish have fins that sweep backwards like the wings of an angel. There are different kinds of angelfish, but the queen is special. She bears the colors of the Bahamian flag. The blue tang is a common reef fish. They belong to the family of surgeon fish, which all have a sharp spine on the base of the tail. The blue tang has a yellow spine, like the color of the tang drink. The juvenile blue tang is yellow. This bar jack is a silvery fish. Its forked tail indicates that it is a fast swimmer. Too bad they only allow the human species in the Olympics. A dark band of color runs along the dorsal fin and onto the lower fork of the tail of the barjack. This marking resembles a crowbar. You can use this to remember its name, bar jack. Another silvery fish is the great barracuda. Its large mouth is typical of carnivorous fish. Grunts are also common on coral reefs. The blue-striped grunt has, well, blue stripes which run horizontally along its body. These fish are called grunts because of the grunting noise they make when they are caught. Snappers appear to be very similar to grunts. This is a mutton snapper or mutton fish as we call it. It has a silvery body and a spot that reminds me of a button on its back. To identify this fish, just think of the button on the mutton. The yellow tail snapper has a bright yellow stripe running down the midsection of the body onto its yellow tail. See how much sense these names make? Damselfish are small, oval-shaped herbivorous fish. These territorial fish tend to and feed on patches of algae that they guard closely. This is a Bo Gregory damselfish. And even though it hasn't told me, I know for a fact that this fish is a lake of fan. <laughs> the sergeant major is also a type of damselfish. Its black stripes on a yellow and white body reminds me of an officer in the military. Large mouths with thick lips are the beauty marks of a grouper. The Nassau grouper has five brownish-green body bars, or vertical stripes, on a lighter body. They have a diagonal band through the eye and a Y-shaped marking on the front of the face. Now, since groupers can change color, the defining feature of a Nassau grouper is the dark saddle-shaped spot on the base of the tail. Nassau grouper populations are in decline throughout the region. The government of the Bahamas has put a closed season in place to protect this species. The black grouper is another species of grouper, it has a dark body with even darker, almost rectangular-shaped blotches. All grouper must weigh at least three pounds in order to be harvested. Parrotfish are very important for healthy reefs. This is a stoplight parrotfish. Can you see the red, yellow, and green colors on its body? Their beak-shaped mouth gives them their name. They use their beaks to feed on algae by scraping them off of bits of rock. This creates bare rock, which is ideal for the settlement of coral larvae and the growth of new corals on the reef. 
Parrotfish ingest the undigested rock particles producing the sand for our beautiful Bahamian beaches. Who would have thought? <laughs> Some groupers, parrotfish, and this bluehead wrasse can change sex. Imagine that! This is a male bluehead wrasse. This is the less striking female. This scorpion fish is a native fish. It is extremely well camouflaged against the reef. It resembles a lionfish because they are related. The lionfish is an invasive species. Its flashy appearance is a warning signal that its spines are venomous. Even though they are venomous, they are not poisonous, making them as safe to eat as any other reef fish. And boy, are they tasty! <laughs> Fishermen are being trained and encouraged to catch lionfish in an effort to control their population. Did you know that an eel is a fish? The green moray eel actually has blue skin. The green color is due to a protective mucus that covers its body. It fits its ribbon-shaped body into the crevices of the reef and makes up its bed right there. Well, maybe eels don't actually have beds, but the crevices of the reef are their homes. Sharks and rays are both types of fish. They have a skeleton made of cartilage. This is a Caribbean reef shark. Its dark back and lighter belly reduces its visibility to prey, both from above and below. Sharks are important for the health of our oceans. This southern ray has a flattened body, which indicates that it spends a great deal of time lying and feeding on the seafloor. Now, that's quite a bit of show and tell. Let's see if you can answer some questions about the fish on our reefs. Mm, why don't we do this as a true or false quiz? That's not so bad, right? Instead of asking you a question, I'll make a statement about the fish and you indicate on your worksheets whether that statement is true or false. Please circle true or false to the following statements. Ready? Okay, here we go. Number one. This fish is known as the Nassau grouper. True or false? Number two. Quite popular with local fishermen. This is a snapshot of a bar jack. True or false? Number three. The closed season for this fish takes place during the winter months to give them a chance to breed. True or false? Number four. This fish, a native of the Pacific region and an invasive species in the Bahamas, is safe to eat. True or false? Number five. This herbivorous fish has a beak-shaped mouth. True or false? Number six. These fish, known as angelfish, help to control the amount of algae on the coral reef. True or false? Number seven. The body shape of this fish indicates that it is usually seen lying on the sea floor. True or false? Number eight. Sharks are important species. They help to keep our oceans healthy. True or false? End of quiz. Let's go back and check your answers. Number one. This fish is known as the Nassau grouper. Number two. Quite popular with local fishermen. This is a snapshot of a bar jack. Number three. 
The closed season for this fish takes place during the winter months to give them a chance to breed. Number four. This fish, a native of the Pacific region and an invasive species in the Bahamas, is safe to eat. Number five. This herbivorous fish has a beak-shaped mouth. Number six. These fish, known as angelfish, help to control the amount of algae on the coral reef. Number seven. The body shape of this fish indicates that it is usually seen lying on the sea floor. Number eight. Sharks are important species. They help to keep our oceans healthy. Well, that was fun. I hope you continue to get to know the fish and other organisms on the coral reefs in the Bahamas. As the rainforest of the sea, the coral reef is an amazingly diverse ecosystem and habitat. I'll see you around then. Until the next time we meet, be good to yourself. With others agree, be good to the land, sky, and sea. We'll see you around. <laughs> Protect the truth in the sunlit